Okay guys, I'm here today with Ken Huotolo and Tai Huotolo, huge honor for me. I'm a huge, huge fan of those two guys over here. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, they're changing Jiu Jitsu. They're making Jiu Jitsu a lot more fun to watch. Anytime you guys see them competing, it's all, uh, you never know if they will win or lose, but it's for sure that they will put up a show and everybody's gonna love it. Awesome. So today they will show us here one technique that they use from Hafner on Borrow. And uh, Michael was all like, oh, man, this is crazy. So I can't wait to learn it from <laughs> For sure. you guys. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. I'm still into it. Oh, it's there you go. Thank oh, you. Thank you. All right. So half guard, right? This one is more of a uh, kind of like a last ditch effort, right? So imagine we've been playing half guard for a minute or playing guard for a minute. And we know our opponent's getting close to passing, right? Our frames is kind of our last thing holding us up. And uh, we're getting tired here, right? Yep. The thing about frames, they're good. They buy you time but they're never gonna get you out of the position and they're never gonna get you you know, a, an attack or anything like that, right? So from here, we need to realize that if we don't make a move, that he's probably gonna advance into side control half guard and start smashing, right? Yeah. So from here, what do we do? It can be very difficult to get the underhook sometimes, right? Yep. Especially with the bigger, heavier guy, maybe they see it or they re-underhook, right? So from here, let's say that option isn't really there. I'm trying to get the underhook, I can't. He's maybe he goes far shoulder and it's very difficult to weave in. So what I'll do is I'll end up going with my overhook and placing just the inside of my thigh, right? Just right here, right? Okay. And when I do this, I immediately comb my hair, right? Sounds strange, but if I try to build up to my elbow from here, there's way too much weight. You know, I can't, no way. But if I use my knee shield and I kind of stretch him away as I comb my hair, I'm gonna get to this position, right? Belly down. The best part about this position is because of the wizard, the more I look away, the more it almost acts like an arm bar and he, the pressure kind of works against him, right? So the more I look away from here, the more I can start building up. And then I get to my knees from here, right? Right, that's crazy. It's, it's such an effective position, it's really unbelievable. And once I get to here, I have a couple different options, right? I can cut a wizard heart, boom, and get on that head, right? Start working for guillotines. Ty's really good at this option where he'll from here, just start backstepping, right? And you usually leave a leg in, no? yeah. but he'll either just, way. either way, he'll just start backstepping, looking away as hard as he can from here, and going like this, right? Oh and my adds God. a lot of pressure onto the arm, and it forces him to roll. Man, and that's you, crazy. You can either get onto the leg, you can use it to pass. That's right? exactly. There's different options from there. Oh, I think sometimes they might even tap from there, right? hundred percent. I've been tapped by him like that. There's one amazing straight arm bar from there, too, where our opponent is smashing us. Boom, smashing, smashing. We get here, we do the overhook. We get here, right? And what we do is I start to back step, right? But I, I loosen this up a little bit, and then I recapture right here. So when I back step, it's like a straight arm lock right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, and then, and then if he does roll, I catch, but I still have this arm lock that keep looking away. No, and even in the ABCC, you two were like throwing arm bars like popcorn, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, there was arm bars. I, I, your match with Lachlan, for example, yeah. man, where did that arm came from? Yeah, 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 that was oh, great. Oh, that's crazy. And uh, I think, like, uh, guys, I'm really impressed about you two, about how great of instructors you guys are. Because I think everybody watch you guys competing, right. and they see you guys going as crazy like, yeah <laughs> but uh, you guys have a lot of passion for teaching as well and you guys break the concepts like really really well like thank and, you, uh, thank we you love it man. we love sharing and, and, and teaching for sure it's yeah. always been a passion of ours no, so i can see and the fact that you, it's both of you teaching at the same time it's so cool you know because like, yeah. anytime someone forgets one detail the other one goes Comes there and boom, plugs and uh, for sure uh, yin and yang yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> can i feel this one of course for sure so, I go like, hey, really yeah. yeah. So let's say, like, Nisha, like, I pray, you know, framing and stuff, I know you're going to pass, though. You put too much pressure, right? You put a lot of pressure here. So you can even put more pressure if you want. So oh, yeah, here, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's too tight, right? What I do, I keep this knee shield stretch away, yeah. right? And I comb my hair. You feel this? So yeah. as soon yeah. as I get to here, yeah. the more you try to keep pressure into me, the more it works against me. Man, against that's crazy. You, right? Yeah. And then I can start building up to my all fours from here. And then, yeah. like I said, I have the option to back step for the arm. But the one I usually do is straight onto the head. Cool. I got it. Right. Right. Darcy, the guillotine, stars, and all that stuff. I got it. Yeah. Man, that's insane. How did you guys develop that? Um, man, I just, you know what, really, I, we, we've used that overhook forever, but from okay. all different positions, from standing, whenever they shoot single legs, right? Yeah. We use that overhook always, even from on top when we're passing. 
will use that overhook. So I just kind of use the same concept for when I'm on bottom. I found myself a lot of the times with bigger, heavier guys in that position. If I couldn't get the underhook, a lot of the times I was running into the problem of them finishing the pass, you know? Got it. And so that was kind of like my last ditch effort was just go overhook and belly down, right? Got it. Got it. And that's been working tremendously for me. No, that's crazy. Oh, Kaden and Ty, and for example, you guys are like pretty much like inventing Jiu Jitsu techniques almost. So that's kind of how I feel. Because for example, the light thing, yeah. nobody was using that. Exactly. And then you guys started, and for no gi, which is even harder than gi. For sure. Now, this half guard, and even like the way you guys finish the the darts as well like it's a mix of like neck crank with choke For so sure. it's the garage laboratory yeah we're just training with each other our whole lives and you know what we notice something rolling with with bigger people all the time you yeah. know it forces you to to find different ways to finish right because yeah. otherwise when you're rolling with someone stronger it's really hard to, to finish oh. right no and at autos that, that's uh, a lot of big guys no yeah, yeah, exactly. guys. Big for sure so now we're so used to fighting all those big guys and you know and, and yeah always having to really evolve and yeah it's been really great yeah, yeah no that's it uh, and now what's next like um, next is the, the one championships. I have a super fight with them. It's for the, the lightweight yeah. belt, actually, on the grappling belt. Yeah. Um, it's against uh, the Sambo champion, Russian. So yeah. it'll be a great matchup for sure. Um, besides that, I don't think anything's signed as of yet, but definitely something's in the near future. Any surfing tournament coming up? No yeah, tournament. I wish. Wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Gotta heal my knee first, so we come back, man. It'll be yeah. fun. I like yeah. it more, almost more than jiu-jitsu, the surf comps, man. Yeah. Yeah. So have fun, you competed? Man. Have you guys competed in surfing couple as well? Times, couple, couple times, couple times. We both won a couple, like, small, like, nagas, you know? Like, yeah. grappling X, like, nothing too crazy, but... Okay. No, yeah. and the asked you guys were saying, like, how much surfing helps your jiu-jitsu. Yes. And uh, I can even see, like, in the leg thing, for example, it sounds like you guys are surfing. Surfing, obviously. yeah, yeah. Like, for sure. The yeah. balance, you know, and, yeah. yeah, surfing, the cardio, all of it. It's good for the mind. I think in single leg yeah. X, our defense from single leg X is, uh, I think surfing has helped out so much, you know, from yeah. here, keeping the balance here, trying to clear the legs, things like that, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. These two guys are amazing instructors, not only competitors, they really focus on concepts. And the, the way they teach is very engaging, so it's very easy to learn. Make sure to check that out, and thanks so much. Well, it's oh, yeah, it's legend. Legend. Thank you. Thanks, thanks kid. Thanks. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.